Hey legends, how you doing? This is Magnus. In this video, I'm reacting to a video that was released a few days ago from the the John Campia show or the or the YouTube channel ah the YouTube channel John Campia the John Campia show. I've been seeing this channel for for a while while and this specific video I want to get my feelings on it. So this is my first time watching it. So let's get straight into it. Don't think a day about the. Maybe somebody will take the Ricky Miller's supply? It's not like that. Hey, John, it is. My name is Sean, and I'm from Canada. My question is about supply. So, I was just wondering if you think, at the end of the film, we will get a new Ice Explorer supply. Like, I think by the end of the film, we think Hedgehog will be a god, and we will be fulfilling all things for Hedgehog. That's the question. And thanks for talking, and good luck with everything. Bye. Okay, so, the, the general thought of the question of a new actor replacing Ezra Miller the Fla as the Flash um i have heard at least that they may still be working with him and i do have a, like weeks ago like the john campion show did the same thing where i have a short in my instant reaction of it but um i if someone couldn't rep if someone could replace it him i think that would be good because of the whole baggage thing with ezra miller i think like you should just have a new actor do it Thanks a lot, Sean, for calling that in. All right. So what is clear to me, and I, I think to anybody who's thinking straight, <laughs> who knows what had happened, but Ezra Miller's days as the Flash are done. That being said, most people, including myself, believe that that transition from Ezra Miller being Flash to somebody else being the Flash, whatever that iteration is going to look like under the new James Gunn and Peter Safran DC, will happen later. You know, th that'll, that'll come later. However, there have been some people that have speculated and thought maybe that transition maybe happens in the movie, in the movie itself. A and like Sean is just asking here now, could we, by the end of the Flash movie, literally see a new performer in the role of Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash? I have never thought of that. But I am going to let you guys in on something. And this is something that, for the record, I do not buy into. All right? But I'm going to let you guys know about this because it's fun for the topic of conversation. Okay. I've had a little bird told me, and I'm sure this little bir bird is okay telling a few other people, because you're probably going to see this pop up over the next day or two around some other places as well. That, just a short version, Grant Gustin, who plays The Flash in the television series The Flash, is going to be the new Flash of the DC Universe. That's the main, as you can see for, okay, you like what you can see, but, um, the title of the video is Flash Switch Grant Gustin replaces Ezra Miller at the end of the Flash rumor. My first, my first reaction to this was, Aah! that was my first reaction, that, again, just a rumor, so I had to control myself, but, I love Grant Gustin as the Flash. He is he's the first Barry Allen that I ever knew as the Flash. And it's honestly his portrayal of the Flash and watching the show that made Flash tied for my favorite DC favorite DC hero. So tied with of course Green Lantern. Because before that it was just Green Lantern all day. But seeing the Flash, I fell in love with it and really liked and loved the Flash again. Like I love the Flash from then on. So if this if this ever does if this is true I'm gonna be geeked out. And if it happens in the movie I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna wanna scream. Now the what works for this theory, this rumor if yeah. you will. And let's let's qualify it as a rumor. Yes. What goes in the favor of this rumor, there are a couple of things. Number one is this image you're looking at right here. That in the uh, 
I have not seen Crisis on Infinite Earths, but I know this event happens in that crossover, and I'm mm, I'm not caught up on everything. Oh, I'm not caught up on everything to be at this point. Oh, I wish, I wish I was. I wish. Crisis on Infinite Earths. Is the show ending uh, right? A little while ago, a couple of months ago now. The show Ezra ends. Miller, even though the movie itself was done shooting ages ago, Ezra Miller was brought back in to do some pickup shooting. An argument could be made that that pickup shooting was directly to create a post credit scene of Flash disappearing and the new Flash appearing as a result of Flashpoint or whatever. Again, I'm not saying that's what it is, but that, that is a bit of anecdotal evidence that maybe you could say it's worth further. The third bit of evidence you could say that goes towards the theory that Ben Beckley is going to end up being Flash at the end of the Flash movie is the timing of the Flash season nine on CW. Mm. It just debuted in April. Or I just debuted in February now. And it is scheduled to have its final 13th episode, I believe, sometime in late May. Weeks before the debut of Flash in theater. Bro! Uh, circumstantial evidence. As, as far as circumstantial evidence goes, <laughs> you could probably bet on that and take the money to the bank. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Not! I think not! Therein lies is, and, and so that, there's all that, okay? And listen, on its surface, I, I can see somebody looking at all those three things. They have shown that there are, there are different versions of them, and one could supersede the other in the universe. Second is that we know that Ezra did go in and do some reshooting, could have very well been for something like this. And third, the timing of the ending of The Flash. Because if the ending of the if the ending of season nine does anything to suggest it, uh, is this coincidentally coinciding very closely with the launch of the Flash movie? Okay. As I said at the beginning of this, yes, I don't buy this. All right, let me be very very clear on that. I do not buy this. I, I don't think you're totally insane if you do because of those three things that we just mentioned. I, I think there's enough there that you could be forgiven for going, you know what, I think there's a chance here. Okay, I, I think there's something there that you could hold on to that. But I really don't think so. And my one main, well, I have two main reasons why I don't believe this theory. And again, I, I think you're going to start seeing Let's pop up because I don't think I'm the only one who got told this. The first is this. Yep. Why would you want to go backwards if you're James Gunn? If you're James Gunn and Peter Safran right now, you have the opportunity to create your DC universe. Good point. Modeled in your image. Not a flash that we've had for almost a decade. Why on earth, if you were James Gunn and Peter Safran, would you want to go backwards like that when you can start fresh and have a clean slate and your own flash and your own story to tell? I just don't understand what would be the appeal to somebody like a James Gunn or a Peter Safran to do that. But the second main problem is this. And by the way, let me say up straight up front, one of the reasons I enjoyed The Flash for so long is because of Ben Beckley. I think he is a delightful performer playing that role. I think he's great in that role for the CW. Yeah, but here's the biggest reason why I do not believe this rumor going around. If you want to see Brent Buxton as The Flash, you can do so right now for free from the comfort of your home because he's on TV. Brent Buxton as The Flash is on TV right now. And they just had their season nine debut. 
the final season, season nine debuts. Big ratings, right? Rob, give me an over and under on what you think the number of people who watched Grant Gustin as The Flash on the season nine debut, the finale debut, how many people watched it? 715. Less. Half a million. 512,000 people tuned in. Not 5 million people like a, a bunch of shows. Not 7 million Ooh. people like some of the other shows. Nah. One second. Darn it. Having internet troubles. Sorry. Uh. Uh. Those are two good reasons, I'm going to admit. Those are two good reasons, though. Half a million people tuned in to watch it. If you are James Gunn and Peter Safran, and you have somebody playing The Flash that anybody can tune in and watch play The Flash whenever they want, and only half a million people are tuning in to watch that? Come on. There's, there's just no legitimate arguments to make. And by the way, I say that as someone who's got a lot of love for Grant sure. Gustin. I think he's great. I can't wait to see what he does with his career post-Flash. But if you think now making this person's iteration of Flash, who nobody is watching on TV, and you think you're just going to put them in the movie universe and all of a sudden everybody's going to want to watch it, you gotta, you're going to have to explain to me why. Because I don't see it. So I acknowledge... The anecdotal evidence about why some might look at this and think maybe this could happen. But I just think the arguments against it are way too strong. We want to take a second and thank a sponsor of this video. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's a good point. So, uh, it, uh, I mean, yes, you could, you could watch him for free now. That granted, granted. But but the thing is, like, if you do make him the the, because there are some people who haven't seen. The Flash, and there are fans of the Flash show that probably dropped off from a certain season onward, and seeing him as the movie universe Flash would bump up that love of the character. Because honestly, John Campion said it himself: the reason he stuck with it so were, for so long was because of Grant Gustin. So. If he had, if for even one person, and I'm certain he's not alone, if, if this, if, if some people are willing to keep watching just for Grant Gustin, seeing him play The Flash, I think that, that having someone who was loved as a previous Flash, Flash, and it was like whether it be the show or maybe him or the direction that they went with it drop off i think it's just it could boost his popularity back back up because it's been done with actors in marvel for example like and especially like ryan reynolds with deadpool because i i like the green lantern movie but I, I already, I know the truth that up and down, ever since that movie, like before getting Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds had trouble getting jobs because of his reputation after doing the Green Lantern film. So, just making that brief connection to Marvel. So, if you, so if you made Grant Gustin the Flash in the movie universe, people a lot more people can possibly fall in love with this guy. Alright, let's get back into it. Rob, uh, do you 
you've seen all this, you've seen all the points of view on it. What do you think about it? What do you think the chances are that Grant Gustin could be the new Flash, or why not? Uh, I think zero, and I think you laid out the arguments very well. I would add one more. If you're spending 150 to $200 million on a film, your lead actor has to have credibility in the motion picture space. Somebody has to be like, oh, I got to go see that. The Flash is front and center of that character. I mean, it, it's put into movies screen the whole time. Grant Gustin, as great as a, of an actor as he is, as you said, he's a television actor. And the fact is... What well, if you gave him a chance at... Gave him a chance in 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 a movie. Like yes, he's a television actor, and and transition from television to movie or vice versa can be difficult, or or maybe it is difficult and hard. But you will never know unless you give somebody the chance. If they're gonna make another Flash movie and spend that much money on it, they have to give you a movie star. Now the argument could be you're like, well, he's you know he's already been on TV. I'm like. He's not even on a huge TV show. Like you're pointing out half a million views. If, if, if they were putting down 20 million views a week, I'd say, well, maybe there's a chance. I would say even if there was five, I would say maybe there's a chance. The fact is, I mean, there are still. But again, like, okay. And it also goes into how James Gunn said that they, they and Peter Safford saying they want to go for younger actors because they want the star power to grow. They want them to stay for a, while, for a, a, a long time. And I forget how old Grant Gustin is. I think he's in his, I think he's in his thirties. I, I, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing here. I'm guessing because I, I literally don't know how old he is. Um, in fact, let me, let me, let me quickly see. Let me see. He's thirty-three. Okay, so he's thirty-three. So he could play an older Flash. I can get I like a um a, a mid, okay, a experienced to an older Flash. I can get that. If you want to do Barry Allen, like if you want to do Barry Allen, go with that. And then if you want to pass it on to Wally we to a new Wally West character, let him teach him. Like, I might give him the chance. And also, like how with, again with Marvel or with. DC and certain projects, they pick unknown actors. Because for me, pretty much everyone in Black Adam, other than The Rock, I didn't know who anyone other than Superman, Black Adam, and Maria Hill. I didn't know anyone else in that movie. I never heard of them, never seen them before. And I thought their performances were excellent. And now, and then, um, I would at least say Robert Pattinson's Batman, of course, many people know him from Twilight, which I never saw, but like some people may be not, maybe not have heard of, heard of him. And then once you mentioned Twi Twilight, you like, oh, that guy, guy, like, I think that honestly works a bit more in his favor being unknown. And then you add, yes, you add on the fact that he did, he's played the Flash before. That gives him credibility in knowing the role. and But it also stains it in, say, like he was on a show that nobody really watched. So I would say that the there are good evidence for him possibly coming on as the Flash. And there's also good reason as why he wouldn't. Still as prejudiced, you still, when you're trying to get money for a movie, what is the first thing anybody asks you? Whether you're an indie producer, who's in it? And if somebody doesn't like who's in it, if it doesn't sell foreign, like if people don't know who, if the foreign markets, if they don't, if they're not excited about who's starring in a movie or whatever, they don't care. And not a, a studio just couldn't make a flash feature film with Grant Gustin as the lead. They just they couldn't do it. There's no justification. Nobody would let them. You're not going to spend 150 or 200 million dollars on a movie that has an untried male lead to that no one's that has literally no box office to his name yet. They never do that, unless of course, I mean, you know, the argument can be made. Well, what about Superman? But the problem is, we've seen him as the Flash 
you put it out so that people are going to want to see a new flash in the movie in the movies, somebody they haven't seen before. Because like you said, we have nine years of this, nine seasons. All right, guys. Question is for you. There are some rumors floating around that, indeed, the, the, the grand costume is going to be the Flash. I've heard it. I'm sure others have heard it as well. I, I get why you might think it. I just don't see how logically it could be the case, even though, I, like I said, I've got a lot of love in my heart for Grant Gustin. I think the dude's great. But anyway, guys, question's for you. What do you think about this? What do you think would be the strongest argument that Grant Gustin could be the next Flash? What Greatest argument would be, okay, yes. So if half a million people ha have seen The Flash, so nobody's really watching it, one that makes him unknown, that makes him pretty much an unknown unknown actor. So if you choose to stick with him, he can grow with the audience, and with the movie audience. Then you could give, that could give him, yes, it's a big leap, but it could give him movie acting chops. You can give him movie experience. Um, then one, again, season nine, like the flash, that flash is over. And depending on how, on how the, that season ends, they could lead up to that possibility of him becoming a flash. So he's got, as far as we know, unless something else has come up, he has nothing holding him back. He has nothing holding up his time to be the flash of a cinematic universe and and honestly like if like again if he were to become the flash of the dc universe you have me in you have me hooked in because i love him as the flash i think he's great so for anyone who's a fan who is a fan of his or who could be a fan of his is i think it would be good and also who says you have to also who says you exactly have to make him be the exact same from the show because for example if this it like everything like like um James Gunn said anything that's not in the prime universe is an elseworld story you could honestly say yes this grant grant gustin looks the same but he acts different. Like maybe there are subtle changes in here. Here, maybe it's not the exact same Flash. Like I'd say at least there's like he has the schedule. He has the he has the right. He he still looks young. He still looks young. He can play a good, experienced up to an older Flash and pass the torch to a Wally West. West. I just think that could be very possible. So, again, like the circumstantial evidence, as as John Campion pointed out at the at the at as he pointed out at the start, art there's circumstantial evidence, and then he had, then Grant Gustin has the time. He has a, he possibly has the time to do it, and um as stated um. Again, unknown star, unknown, like unknown star rising up with, like gaining popularity with the masses. For example, let's just say Guardians of the Galaxy. For example, with Chris Pratt, I other than the Lego Movie, really, where I at least saw new, like I learned that he was the one who voice acted for Emmett. Um, I didn't know. Chris Pratt really at all until Guardians of the Galaxy and now he's my he's my favorite member of the Guardians as Star Lord. I think he's a great actor. So at least get like giving him the chance. What do you think would be the strongest arguments against it? And how do you feel at the end of the day? Whatever you guys think, jump down in the comment section below. Then let us know your thoughts. So that that's that those are my thoughts on on the idea that Grant Gustin could play the Flash. Again, it's a rumor, so I shouldn't get my hopes up too high. I shouldn't do that because that'll just make me uh that could get me disappointed. I I just want to keep my expectations at a minimum because the great yes the greatest 
argument against him joining. Again, he has no box office or no real notoriety to his name. Name, so you're taking a big gamble with it. And then this this is James Gunn and Peter Safran's universe. Yeah, why would you want to use a previous Flash when you could start fresh and have a just a completely new actor? So, yeah. So I can understand both sides. I can understand both. Thank you, Legends, so much for watching. What do you think? Do you would you want to see Grant Gustin as the Flash, Ash, or would you not? All right, please let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for 97 subscribers as of the recording of this video. Oh, ah, uh, and with 97 subscribers, let's see if we can get to 100 subscribers really soon really soon and when that does i believe i do have an idea for 100 subscriber challenge and if we do get there thank you so much for the support comment like subscribe share this video hope you enjoyed it react to my madness i will see you in the next one see you later